got uh, the uh, missile rail uh, temporarily mounted just with some uh, masking tape here. Um, what I'm doing is lining up this back edge um, with the center line of the missile rail itself. So that actually looks good. I've got this back edge here lined up with the back edge of the wing. So I'll go ahead and add one more piece here. Okay, and then I'm just going to center the rail on the wing right about there so that um, vertically it's uh, centered. And now we're going to drill our hole for our screws to go into into the wing. Now we're just using a small drill bit just to um, get the uh, location down. Hmm. We can find it. This side. Like we'll be using a pencil, maybe. No. Let's try marking it this way. Okay. All right, we're going to drill in where our marks are. All right, <clears throat> now I'm gonna take a little piece of our little antenna uh, tube here, um, or you can use Nyrod, like Invert Mass did. And uh, I found on the other ones, I think I cut it just a little bit uh, too short, so there wasn't a lot of grip inside. I mean, it's just foam on the inside there. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit longer so that when we coat it with the um, epoxy, it'll actually um, have a little bit more to grip onto inside there. And we'll cut the other one the same. take a little bit bigger drill bit one that's just just a smidge about the same size as as our little rod there so side of the tube. Give something for the epoxy to stick onto. Okay, I just want to make sure that that's the right size. Perfect.
All right. So we've got our two pieces here. They're just about ready to go inside the wing. Uh, I'm gonna mix up some five minute epoxy, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attempt to glue this in now. Just gonna take and uh, coat the outside of this with five minute epoxy, and I did put a little bit of milled fiberglass in there just to give it a little thickness. Okay, <clears throat> and one thing I learned from the other side is I think I'm going to let this uh, stick out just a little bit so that uh, the epoxy has something to stick on to and then I'm going to sand it flush. Okay, going to do our other one. Yeah, got a little messy on that one. Okay, I'll wipe off the excess. All right, and we'll go ahead and let that dry. Let me get you a little close up here. And this is what we end up with. Of course, we're gonna sand that uh, flush, but um, then we just basically screw right in. So, that's all there is to it. Um, I showed you the finished product on the uh, last video, but uh, anyways, there you go.